The New York Times calmly reports as if they're just talking about the price of motor oil. They just calmly report that the brother of Afghan leader is said to be on CIA payroll. Gee, you think so? I mean, Mohammed Karzai is a former Unicol executive tied in with the State Department and the CIA. That entire government is a puppet government. It's admitted it's a puppet government. And the people are tired of being occupied there. And there is always going to be civil war and death there because of the 500 plus billion dollars of raw opium that is shipped out of the nation each year. Over 80% of world opium is produced inside of Afghanistan. The U.S. forces guard the opium. And the excuse is, well, if we don't guard it and work with the warlords, they'll turn against us. That's how they sell our government, our media, our culture on pure evil. Oh, yes, we're guarding it, but then if you're caught using it in Austin, Texas, or in Chicago, Illinois, you're going to be put in prison. That's how this works. That's how this country works. It is the ultimate in hypocrisy. And they go on to admit that he is one of the biggest narcotics traffickers in the country. So I'm going to go over more of that uh, later. There's a report here out of the Associated Press. Headline, troops already outnumbered Taliban 12 to 1. There are more than 100,000 international troops in Afghanistan working with 200,000 Afghan security forces and police. It, it adds up to 12 to 1 numerical advantage over Taliban rebels, but it hasn't led to anything close to victory because you've got a bunch of different tribes killing each other you've got a bunch of different drug dealing tribes drug dealing warlords most of them are controlled by the mayor of Kabul Mohammed Karzai the puppet president he's really the mayor that's all they hold and a few other cities and they have aircraft that fly over and spray with pesticides, the poppy fields that don't launder their money and their drugs through the CIA and the Federal Reserve. They sell it to the Russians and they sell it to the Pakistanis and they sell it to the Chinese. All the governments and all the secret police are involved in becoming billionaires. It's very fun. And they're not going to be billionaires if, if opium and all its derivatives, like heroin, were decriminalized and said, you poor, pathetic, stupid junkie on opiates destroying your life. The minute you decriminalize it, the, the junkies stop robbing your house, your computer, your jewelry, your car to get the $300 a day habit. Because now it's as cheap as cigarettes. And if they want to go ruin their lives and kill themselves, that's the case. And Europe has decriminalized. And guess what? People stopped using heroin by over 50%. You can go pull the statistics up. Because they, they understand it's dirty. It's stupid. It's big bloody bruises all over you and tracks in your arteries, in your veins. It's dirty and disgusting. But all the crime leaves. This is a tax to the CIA and the Federal Reserve. And how do the young women pay for it? They go out and they hook their bodies. They go out and they lay down with five, ten men a day. They get HIV. They get hepatitis. They live in dirty hotel rooms. So all the money can be pumped back to the bankers. And so cops can run around running checkpoints, feeling real authoritative, searching your car. I don't use your dirty, filthy smack. I don't use your marijuana. I don't use your methamphetamine. I don't use your cocaine. I don't use any of your crap. I don't use your Ritalin, your Prozac, your flu shots, any of it. You got me, you scum, you filth, you trash that ship this stuff in and push it on our society. But I'm driving down the road, and I'm listening to the BBC. 
and they report massive news like it's no big deal. Just like mainstream media will go, yeah, a lot of people do get Gillian Barre or have seizures or die from the vaccine, but it's 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 a good cause to pay. It's it's you know the the, the benefits outweigh the dangers. It doesn't. There are a few newscasts that tell the truth like that, or, or some of the truth. They admit it can hurt you. It's the same thing with the uh, whole opium situation. They admitted it was a $500 billion, and that's raw. That's coming out of the country, $500 billion. $500 billion industry a year. It's secret, like gold or, or, or art or collectibles. That's a whole black market currency that the elites traffic in. So they get to loan it out. Eight to ten times through fractional reserve banking. So what's uh, what's ten times five hundred billion? It's 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 five trillion, five trillion dollars just out of Afghanistan. Now you now understand why the troops are there, but they just calmly announced and calmly admitted, like they were talking about the price of pork bellies on the Chicago mercantile that the United States is a delicate balancing act fighting the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. That's how they say it in England. Al-Qaeda. They have a delicate balancing act when fighting the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, working with local warlords and chiefs whose main source of income is opium. So the U.S. and British forces, German forces, and U.N. IVOR forces, as well as NATO, are forced to protect the opium. They don't like it, but they do it. And they cut to somebody from the State Department going in the U.S., well, yes, so we do have to do this, or that would give the Taliban and Al-Qaeda a foothold, and then they would take over. We've got to work with people, and we don't like it, but, but jeepers creepers... Uh, <laughs> That's why you see U.S. troops on mountaintops over the opium valleys. <laughs> and yes, we do eradicate some. We do eradicate some. And they go on to say, you know, the Taliban and Al-Qaeda is opium, so they can't... Who do you think the warlords are? Who do you think these people are? The author of Jawbreaker, the CIA section chief who retired, who we had on a few years ago, he admitted, he said, yes... The Taliban and Al-Qaeda did work for us previously. Not anymore, of course. <clears throat> Doesn't matter if the FBI translator, Sybil Edmonds, has now broken her gag order and gone public three months ago and stated on the record in court that the classified information that she told the 9-11 Commission and that she was ordered to not tell the public was that she was listening to chatter of Al-Qaeda and Taliban taking orders from the CIA on the day of 9-11. She said they worked for them until the day of 9-11. Of course they did. And she said it was child kidnapping, money laundering, weapons running. Of course. Why does the CIA love Arab extremists and Muslim extremists, especially Wahhabists? Because they are cult members, folks. They are nuts. You can have a high-level CIA operative like bin Laden or his henchmen, and they can give orders to real psychopathic Muslim extremists who really think they're kidnapping children and bombing buildings and running drugs to fight the Western infidels. They're, they're organic mind control slaves from the Muslim nations. This is better than any Manchurian candidate. They have been raised to believe this. This is in some of their cultures, in some of the minority groups of the cultures. And they don't know they're working for Israel in the United States. They don't know they're working for British intel, though it's been declassified many times. It was Muslim extremists used to overthrow Mohammed Mosaddegh in 1953 in Iran. Operation Ajax, that's declassified. The U.S. and England went in and funded the mullahs to overthrow the government. Because it was a secular mainline government. You see, that's what's so sick about this. Al-Qaeda is Muslim terrorist. They are extremist. And they've got people working for them who don't even know they're working for the U.S. government. That is how sick this is. And the troops are out there guarding the opium going, Gee whiz, I, don't, I guess we do this so the Taliban and Al-Qaeda don't get the money. And then they just admit it like it's no big deal in the New York Times. Your call straight ahead and a bunch of other...